welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are taking a look at the new die set Stitch Poinsettia. This die creates some flowers to decorate your holiday projects with these cute Stitch Poinsettia flowers. This die cuts three different sizes of the flower petals. There's a large, a medium, and a small. There's also two sizes of the leaves and two sizes of those center pieces that layer in the middle of the flower. So to create these flowers, you just layer the different size pieces together. I've got the largest one here. This is cut from chili pepper cardstock. I've just put a dot of glue in the middle and then I'm gonna layer that medium size one right in the center, but making sure that my petals are between the petals of the one in the back. This middle one is cut from some raspberry cardstock and then this small one is cut from some guava cardstock and I'm just gonna layer that in the center once again making sure that those petals are between the petals of the piece behind it. So you can make the largest flower just like this, and I'm also gonna make some smaller sizes that I'll show you here in a minute. There's two sizes of leaves that you can use to layer behind your flower, and then there's two sizes of these center pieces. So this is the largest one, and then there's a slightly smaller one, and you can use them individually or you can stack them together as well. So for this card, I'm going to use the center, just a single one. You can see there, I've already created my largest flower. For my medium-sized flower, I'm starting with that medium-sized petal and just layering the small one on top. And then I'm going to use the smaller of those interior pieces for the center of this one. And these I've cut from some gold sparkle cardstock. And then I'm also going to make a small one. So I've cut two of the smallest petals here just from different colors, and I'm just gonna layer those together to make my smallest flower. So for this particular flower, that bottom piece is cut from some chili pepper cardstock, and then the top one is cut from raspberry. And so you can see we've got three different sized flowers here to use on our project. I'm also gonna use the So Joyful line border die, and I'm gonna use some Let It Shine paper, and I've cut it with a stitched rectangle. So I'm just going to layer this in the center of my card base, which is made from some craft card stock. And I'm using that cream pattern paper with the metallic foil gold dot. And I think that ties in very well with my flowers, and it's also gonna tie in well with my sentiment here. So I'm just adding some glue to the back of that die cut sentiment, and this is cut from that gold glitter card stock as well. I just have that flower laying there for placement so I can make sure that I have my sentiment where I need it to be. So I'm just gonna trim off the ends of that once I've got it glued down. I'm adding that dot to the eye, you can't forget that. And then I'm just gonna trim it off where it meets the edge of that die cut pattern paper piece. So it almost gives it the look as if that line wraps around this panel in the center. So now I can start to add my flowers that I've already created. I've just got this laying here so I can tuck my leaves behind and then I'll glue the flower down on top. I used a combination of peacock and rainforest cardstock for my leaves so that I have two different colors of sort of teal green to go with my pinky red flowers. So I've used the largest leaf on this big flower that's down in this right hand corner. And then I'll use the smaller leaves for my two flowers that I'm going to layer towards the top left hand corner. So again I'm using a combination of that peacock as well as that rainforest cardstock for the leaves so I've got that nice dark one right in the center and then I can put the lighter ones on the sides just so we have all that change in color and interest going on up there. And my flowers are different as well. So as I said before in this little one, that bottom layer is that chili pepper. So I didn't make them all exactly the same. So this one's a little bit darker. And I'm adding a foam square to the back of it so it's just popped up a little bit. It has some dimension, even though these have a lot of dimension just in themselves being stacked. And now everything's glued down and my card is all finished and I love those pops of gold and that catch the light that shimmer and shine from the foil and the glitter. I just think it's so pretty. 
So for my second project, I'm gonna be making a tag and I'm gonna use this large circle tag. I've cut some pixie dust glitter cardstock, which is gonna be the front and also some let it shine paper. That's gonna be the back and that's where I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. So I'm just using some stamps from the offset sayings Christmas. I've just lined those up in the center of that circle and I'm gonna stamp it with my Misty so it's all nice and straight. So I've just picked those up with the door of the Misty. I'm gonna ink it up with some black ink and stamp it down. So it says, may your holidays be merry and bright. And I thought that this sentiment would work well with the flower I'm gonna create. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer these two pieces together. Just glue them together so that that sentiment is on the back. And then we have that white sparkle on the front. So for this poinsettia, I thought I'd go a little out of the box and we're gonna make a rainbow poinsettia. So it's kind of rainbow Christmas all over again. So I'm making a large one. That back piece is guava cardstock. I'm layering some baked tan cardstock on top of that. And then finally some sunflower cardstock for this small one. I decided to use the silver glitter paper for the center of this one, and I'm gonna layer the two sizes of those centers together. So this is the large one, and then I'm just gonna take the smaller one and layer it on top. So you get a lot more of that glitter center. And then I have a little white dot, white glitter dot here, and that is actually left over from where I cut out the tag but it fits perfectly so I just added that to the center as well so I've got some silver and some white glitter happening on the center of my flower so now I'm just going to add a whole bunch of liquid glue to make sure that this sticks well to that glitter paper that the tag is made out of and then you can see my leaves here I've cut my leaves from purple green and teal and I'm just going to tuck those behind so we get that whole rainbow effect. So that's some sugar plum cardstock for the purple leaf, peacock for that teal leaf, and then I used cilantro for the green leaf. And I just love the fun and colorful effect. This is great for a holiday tag, but I think it would also work for any occasion with these colors. So to finish this off, I just pulled out some aquamarine lawn trimmings cord and I'm just going to pull that through the top and then tie a knot at the top and trim it off. And now it's ready to put on a package or a gift or even hang on a tree. I think it would be pretty as an ornament as well. And then you have that holiday sentiment on the back. So now let's take a look at some examples from the design team. Renata made this beautiful card. I love her mix of the regular cardstock and the sparkle cardstock to make these beautiful poinsettias. Elise used patterned paper for hers, and I love that banner in the middle with the sentiment. Elena's is so pretty. I love those white ones. They really pop on that red background, and I just love all the elements she added in with the wreath pieces and the spring twig. Tammy's tags are beautiful. I love those let it shine papers with the craft card stock and how she cut the centers out of gold to go with the gold dots in her paper. Melissa's card is so pretty. I love how she used all those different colors for her flowers and truly mixed it up. And then Grace made a beautiful card as well. She also pulled in some extra elements from the wreath dies and made a beautiful card with a wood grain background and a matching little gift bag. I love Megan's card with that banner as the background, as well as that scripty joy cut from that metallic gold card stock. And then Kara's card is super elegant with those cream colored poinsettias and the gold leaves on that cream and gold dot background. She also created a matching tag that is just beautiful. And then Renata also made a card using the Seasons Greetings line border die. And I just love those bright flowers and how they fill up the entire card. Yainea's card is so pretty. I love how she colored her flowers by using inks and watercoloring them to give them all that lovely texture. I love how Ivy used the flowers to completely fill this slimline card. And she also used this unique color scheme with the pink and cream. 
Audrey's tags are beautiful with that black and white gingham, and I love her white paint splatters all over those poinsettias. And then Lynette has a card here with a metallic sentiment that really pulls out that gold in the flowers, which I just think is beautiful. And then Letitia also used the Let It Shine papers to create this bright and happy Christmas card. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.